What's going on, everybody? Good evening. Yes, indeed, we are broadcasting live from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Here for ST Nash, the Star Trek convention. The first one that they've done here in Nashville from Creation Entertainment. Quality entertainment. And Sou it's, it's been a lot of fun. Souvenirs are being purchased. Com badges are being worn. Crazy Klingon necklaces are being donned with <laughs> matching earrings. There is a lot of stuff going on, and we are excited to welcome you guys in. My name is Ultimate DJs. And I'm Griffin. Yo, 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 yo. yo. And uh, Duran again wants, uh, wants a sub because he says ads are the devil and they're going to ads in about six minutes. Oh, no. You got six minutes to pick yourself up a sub here before we uh, before we run out. And uh, and how much are those subs? Those subs like are six uh, bucks? They're like six dollars. By Grabthar's Hammer. What a what value. A savings. Savings. Damn it. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Welcome in. Uh, this is Talking Trek Live, Star Trek Fleet Command's official podcast, and we are indeed broadcasting live from the vendor's room inside the Embassy Suites in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. At least for the next 50 minutes until they kick us out for of the convention. not even 42 minutes until they kick us out of here and the lights go out. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are here indeed. Welcome into the convention center. How are you guys doing out there tonight, huh? And, and we're not here alone. We're surrounded by single digits of our biggest fans. <laughs> yeah, I, I indeed have not figured out how to actually. Uh, you know what? I didn't turn the guest, the, the, the crowd camera back on. Oopsies. You're the worst in the district. Just I, turn on I, this one. Turn hey, on this one. Everybody, uh, everybody out there. Uh, oh, hold on. Hold on. There we go. Right there. Anytime look. Now. Oh, look, look at it. All, look, look at all. all seven of them. Look at the uh, the most dedicated fans. A uh, round of applause for all of them, huh? All right, and back to the two. Back to the, back to the two. Good evening, everybody. Uh, appreciate uh, appreciate everybody hanging out. Uh, are you having a good time? Community, are you guys having a good time at the ST Nash convention here tonight so far? Yes, uh, it has been indeed a pretty fantastic time. We a great have way to start. It has been an exciting day, uh, and we are very excited to to be here with you guys. Unfortunately, we don't have a great deal of time to spend live from the studio tonight, but we might be pulling off some IRL stuff a little bit later from various areas around Murfreesboro. And we so. already have a ton of footage in the can that I can't wait to show you. I, I saw Peyton listen, and I interviewed her again for a second time. He did not. And you're never going to see that footage either. <laughs> Which absolutely makes sense. But what we do have are some great cast interviews. We have spent uh, some time today with uh, Bonnie Gordon. We did. We spent some time with Connor Trenier, Dominic Keating, uh, Elias Tufexis, which was an absolutely incredible interview. I can't wait to bring that to you guys. Uh, Doug Jones is here. David Ajala is here. Anson Mount is here. Uh, there are so many amazing people. And, and new friends that you haven't met yet. Like, I can't wait wait for you to hear Bonnie Gordon sing because she is amazing and Dude. we're going to introduce you to a lot of new friends out there. It's going to be oh, there's Bonnie right there. There she is. Oh my God, she's here and she's live. Oh. Oh. Do you want you want to do a second one? No, run. Run. She's she just stepping in. She's she ready. Just, she's ready to go. She's like, "Ooh, bright lights." Uh, listen, we've got uh, oh, a lot of stuff. Oh, she actually coming in. Uh, we're going to get a, one of uh, a couple bars of Bonnie's song. Oh, my God. Do, what, what do you want to do? Guys, this was not expected nor planned. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. It's Bonnie. Uh, right here. Look here. Bonnie Gordon, everybody. Oh, my God. Hi, Bonnie. Just, just walking by and just stopping by. So for those of you who don't know, and we've got this in, uh, in the produce video that we're going to do a little bit later, Bonnie... Is uh, is somebody whose face you might not have seen throughout yet, Star Trek, yet, but, you but you have. Will. But you have heard a lot from her. Let's see if the audience can guess. I've got a chat window up. All right, and uh, and we're going to see. Can we if, hear Bonnie? Uh, yeah, let, I think so. Say not yet. Still no, not what? yet. Still not yet. There. Still not yet. You know, for being a DJ, you sure are not good at mixing. What about now? Oh, no, there you go. Ooh, got her. You're good. You're good. Oh, here I am. There she is. Hi, everybody. 
Uh, okay, now you can hear her moose. All right, so let's see. We'll play a little bit of a game with the audience here, okay? Uh, we will get her to use, uh, to, to say a line from one of the uh, one of the Star Trek properties that she's been a part of. And uh, I tell you what, here's what we're going to do. Just real super easy, uh -huh. quick and easy for the, for the podcast audience alone. A free Talking Trek ST Nash t-shirt to whoever first identifies in the chat this the Star Trek show. That Bonnie Gordon comes from. All right, let's uh, let's get that that sample. Okay. Okay. Um, unable to comply. There are no more skate pods on board. The the chat answered before she even they they see they know. Well, I also am wearing the. Wearing <laughs> what I am. Oh it. man, <laughs> from You're the worst contest runner ever. Number oh, one, we have God. five winners for the we same single wanna... cruise cabin. <laughs> so you, now, we have the... now you have ten people that have to cut a shirt in pieces. We and that's exactly what we'll do. That's so, exactly what. We'll do. Yeah, from the USS Protostar, from Prodigy, the show that you guys brought back to life, and that was something that we actually talked a little bit about uh, during Thank our sit down you. earlier today. Yeah. Um, absolutely incredible time and then we were just going to go on and kind of hang out a little bit and just kind of relax from the first day what a first day it's been it's right? been super fun and you know i'm i'm really excited for this weekend because i have a bunch of new songs that i'm doing tomorrow night so Ooh. i'm looking forward to testing them out to it, everybody yeah maybe? listen you, well you already did uh one for us earlier and uh, and and listen, this was this was something special. Not, not guys. sitting down on our podcast. She opened up the whole convention with a she special did. song. She was, a welcome song. Yeah. 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 The convention opener well, was. We're in Nashville. I had to do a Dolly Parton song. Absolutely, I mean, and it was uh, it was phenomenal. Thank so, you. Thank you. Uh, we have a lot more to come from Miss Bonnie coming up in a little while, and uh, a way that you can find some of her great music and some of the fun stuff. Like you, you put a lot of fun like it's not just about creating music or, or creating an album but like you're looking at this from like the fun aspect oh, like the fandom of I star mean, trek if right? i'm a nerd i might as well share my nerdiness with everyone else i do a lot of i don't just do songs about you know star trek i got songs about star wars jurassic park power rangers comic books video games princess bride lord of the rings um you know D D. So, yeah, I got songs about You're everything. playing D&D, &D, speaking I of. I am, on Friday with Todd Stashwick and Ciroc and, and Elias and Michelle Hurd. We're all going to roll some oh. dice, and hopefully uh, Anthony Rapp is also going to be playing, so it's, it, hopefully none of us die. <laughs> <laughs> That's Todd's not the, entirely Todd's unlikely. Dungeon Master, so yeah, uh, Todd, I have heard, is, is quite vicious oh, in this game. Oh, he's such a good Dungeon Master, though. He, yeah. if, you're, if you're here, it's, it's something to see. Uh, absolutely like incredible. Well, thank you. And it you is for... on Sunday, so my song actually works. Like we play D and D on Sunday nights. D and D. Yeah. Anyway. This is incredible. I love that. <laughs> right? Absolutely. Before you go, yes. Not to put you on the spot, but uh -oh. do you want to sing a couple nine to five bars for us? Oh, sure. Yeah. This yeah, is yeah. what opened me... up the. I don't even. Do, I don't. Do, I don't have the track. She doesn't need a track. She's a trained a... professional. She's got this. What's okay. the matter with you? God, okay. No tracks All then. Right. Mm. This is the. Uh, this is like. This is what I wrote for the for this convention in particular. Bring but it. it's like um tumble out of bed without apprehension. Time to get to that Trek convention. Gotta register and make sure I'm in line. I wave to a Klingon and a logical Vulcan. Someone's dressed like transporter malfunctions. Everyone here is trekking nine to five. Yeehaw! Trekking nine to five. We celebrate our favorite fandom. Better get in line. Cause us Trekkies are in tandem. Respect all sci-fi. A love for Star Trek isn't random. We will make it so. Just like the card commanded. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Yeah. That is quality entertainment. You just can't buy for a dollar. You can't get that anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen, right here uh, on the uh, on the stage of Talking Trek, live from inside the convention. Well, well, we are so excited about thank it. Thank you, Bonnie. Yeah, my pleasure, guys. It's my nice pleasure. hanging out with you. Oh. And we look forward to doing a little karaoke with you or uh, hanging Absolutely. out. Absolutely. And then lights, tomorrow right? night I'll be doing a whole bunch of funs and, you know, uh, fun like, you know, all about that space, about that space, no tribbles. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, now you got the bridge, Spock, Kirk is away. 
Oh, that and, is incredible. Uh, and there's uh, actually a whole album, three albums, in fact, yeah. that we're going to tell you about a little bit later where you can find some of these Woo. amazing tracks because they are available to you guys. So That's right. Uh, we are I'm going easy to, to find. Uh, Just Google me. I'm a very Googleable Bonnie. <laughs> not, very in a, not in a creepy way. Googleable. Don't try to find her in weird ways. Yeah, Only yeah, on, yeah. Google -able. on Spotify. You won't find any feet pics on there. Unless Bonnie Baggins, you might find like a hobbit foot or something. You know, but you times never know. are getting tough. You know? <laughs> Don't rule anything out. That's All what right. I send people. If anyone ever requests a, a foot picture, I always send them a hobbit foot. So that's perfect. Congratulations. <laughs> throw that on. Throw the, <laughs> DJ's has a foot uh, website called pausingballs.com. Oh, oh my god, my no, that is not okay. I totally do. It's fine. It's Bobby real. Baggins in get... the house. <laughs> All right. My uh, my Lord of the Rings song is is pretty much that. It's like. It's, it's Shake It Off by Taylor Swift, but about Gandalf, so you're welcome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. All right, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to peace out. All right, Thanks we'll for see stopping you. by. Absolutely. Thank Ladies you and gentlemen, Miss Bonnie, Bonnie Gordon. Gordon. I'm going to put this down somewhere. I'm not oh, we are having a good time. So, and there uh, she goes. There she is. There she's going. She's running off. Um, and the, so here's what's cool, guys. What's that? This is the kind of interaction that we've had throughout the day yeah, where, just, where the cast and the crew are just kind of walking by me like, hey. You're just, you're just having a great time. You're walking around. All of a sudden, somebody's singing in prose. And then <laughs> and all of a sudden, like a hamster just rolls by and sits in the chair. Uh, it's absolutely yes. incredible. There, there are all kinds of weird and spacey things that are happening uh, throughout the galaxy here. But, uh, yeah, no, it has been uh, ironic that that even some of the cast, like w earlier, all right, we had Elias Tufexis who came up and said, hey, guys, like, I want to sit down with you. I've actually listened to your stuff, and I'd like to sit down with you for a little while. That like, guy's voice is so amazing. Oh, it's it's dude, insane. It's he rude. Was, he's rude. a monster. He was incredible. What a great interview. Can't wait to share that with you guys. Um, ladies and gentlemen, another couple of special guests that we've got while we have a little bit of time. 32 Found in the minutes. wild, just completely randomly. Yep. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are excited to bring you uh, our friends and special guests. Uh, just Star Trek fans. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the Obsidian Hamster oh! is here. Yes, there he is. Oh, Listen there you go. Here? Sorry. Oh, there I am. There Hi, you are. Buddy. Hey, what's <laughs> hey, going on, Eddie? Hey, hey, what's up, my man? Uh, did we go to ads just out of curiosity? Hey, yes, we did, but <laughs> most, I can't control most that. Most of our friends are subscribed already. Okay, cool. Because okay, cool. they know the value of purchasing a subscription. Ah. Uh, <laughs> they're very good. <laughs> I, I hear it's only $6. They're very good at one click spending. What it a is. Deal. What a deal. <laughs> <laughs> They're very good at those You're welcome. micro transactions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ladies no, yeah. and gentlemen, appreciate uh, appreciate you guys here. hanging out and uh, and a couple of thank yous in the chat. I haven't had a chance to go through all this yet. It's just been wild here. Uh, Hammy, taking a second to to kind of talk to you. You've been here the entire day. We've yep. got almost one full day of the con under our belts, yep. and it's been a nonstop day. Uh, right. It's been filled with Trek. It's been filled with cast here in the vendors hall. There is incredible merchandise available in oh, yeah. here. Like I, I have seen some incredible swag, which we're going to show off here in a little bit. Nice. Um, but then the content has been next level. Mm -hmm. Like the and and I, I don't mean like just with ours, but like like the panel that we just saw a little bit ago <laughs> with Lolita. We don't mean with just our content being next level. I don't. <laughs> I, <laughs> what are you? I mean, not us. I'm not. I'm not patting myself on the back. Next although level, the panel baby. was fun, it was fun to do. Um, but there has been incredible panels today. There have. Uh, Gabrielle Ruiz was doing a panel earlier, yes. and uh, right win. right now, David Ajala and Doug Jones are on stage. Yep. Uh, just a little bit ago, we saw the legendary Lolita Facho, who was talking about the uh, Voyager documentary series. So we're very excited about that. Hammy, just as an observer of all things today, because like you, you really just, I mean, you showed up. Yep. By the yep. way, welcome. How was your flight? Thank you. Uh, flight was great. Left a little bit later than uh, it was. Shocking. Scheduled, but uh, got here safe and sound uh, yesterday. Good. And I got here bright and early, and I've been having a blast. It's, it's been, been a lot so of fun. Much fun. It's been a very uh, cool environment. Just all the different panels going on. And uh, I might say that uh, maybe the content creator panel was one of my favorite panels today. The content Ooh. creator panel. Yeah. That's something that does. Oh, yeah. 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 Nice. Cheap you know, pop. That's oh. a cheap pop. That's how it was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Even, That's even, what I was going for. 
<laughs> even though you didn't you didn't bring me up at all during the panel, that's fine. That's okay. I, as as someone who cares about the community a lot, DJ, what is wrong with you? It kind of, it hurt, a little bit. But outside of that, the panel was great, and I had a lot of fun. It, but you're saying is it needed more hamsters? Correct. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a correction of errors for next time, DJs. Yeah, for next time. <laughs> that's that's what we'll do. Uh, no, actually, in all seriousness, and I know we kind of joke a little bit about it, but it was very surreal to see the team together up there. Uh, uh, well, Iron set the Chef stage and, and tell and the people at home exactly what we're talking about. So for those of you who are not aware, uh, we were actually here at Talking Trek able to host an actual panel here at the convention center. And so the approach that we decided to take with it was um, community, right? Like, why have we all survived this for five years? Like, oh, why yeah, we, we wore our masks and we washed our hands and we stayed inside. No, and we were told to do that. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, why? Why are we all still here? Why has the community stayed together? Why have we showed up at cons? Why do people buy T-shirts? Like, what? What is the stuff that creates community? And so we invited uh, Dr. Iron Chef. We, we invited did. Tiberius, we uh, Sammo. Major Samo. Uh, we had. Um, our very special surprise guest, whom I believe that we've actually done a tremendous job at keeping this under wraps. Yeah, we did. Until last night when you told everybody. I stuff. accidentally let it slip 14 hours early. DJ let something slip. It that, was. That does, not, <laughs> that does not sound like anything he would ever do ever. Never. Never. Never <clears throat> ever. Yeah. It was a complete and total accident. But ladies and gentlemen, if we can get a camera out to the crowd, uh, the special guest here that we've been able to keep uh, completely She's under wraps. She's going to bring her merchandise with her. Oh, you're going to bring swag? Oh, uh, well, you can't even <laughs> see her now. <laughs> Wait, here. hold it up. Here, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead give me uh, that camera shot. Ladies there and go. gentlemen, there she is hiding behind all the swag. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a completely random Beck Likes Plants <laughs> hanging out. She's, she's purchased a transporter. Yes. She's purchased an, another an engineering, an engineering set. set. It's Ooh. fantastic. We're going to have to have nice. you come on and show show your toys here in just a little bit. Yep. Uh, Juby says, we all knew Beck was coming. <laughs> you well, did not, Juby. Yeah. That's Stop not it. factual. Fake, That's fake trash. news. That's trash. However, Trash Keeper is here. Trash Keeper is here. Absolutely. <laughs> we met some amazing members of the community. Rusty Halo is here. Yes. Spectre is here. Griffin mm -hmm. Paw is here. Uh, what? Griffin Paw. Griffin Paw? Yeah. Oh, Falcon cool. Paw. Falcon. Falcon Paw. <laughs> I was like, wait, I'm you're, Griffin. You're Griffin. <laughs> you are <laughs> Griffin. I was like, Paw. Yeah. Um, I was too many for birds. A second. Trash, many keeper, birds. trash Keeper is here. Okay. Wood Cannon is here. And by the way. Oh, we get, get Wood Cannon out of here. He's banned. He changed oh, okay. shirts. He changed his shirts. Okay. He changed shirts, dude. Oh, he showed God. up in the Griffin is Green t shirt. He has been trolling me all day, walking right behind me with the stupid <laughs> green face on his chest, I, pointing at me. I want one of those shirts, by the way. They're not for sale. <laughs> I want one. They They're are not available. One hundred percent. They're not sale. available. Yep, it's not a thing. Um, so yeah, no, it's been an absolute ton of fun. And uh, so on the panel, Beck got to come up, and we actually got to talk. Our panel was about just community building. It was about right? creating community, our favorite moments, why we do what we do, what's great about it, what our favorite parts are, and uh, the, all the different stories from the different perspectives of the community creators, DJs. Uh, was really awesome to hear in one place. It was uh, not to be like mushy about it, but it was. He did cry. It was a proud <laughs> moment for me, just like seeing what has become of the community, what the community has fostered and supported, yeah. and watching the journey of these other creators, like the whole team. Um, what was your favorite part of the panel being up there and moderating? What did you enjoy? Honestly, listening to listening to the whole team share their stories, like being excited to be here, like looking at this opportunity to sit on a panel on the main stage in the main theater of a Star Trek convention to watch these people sit up on that stage and get 
their opportunity to speak to a larger audience, to speak to new people about what it is that they do and, and why. And what, what it means to be a community and how you make it It was incredible and... to watch that. So I, I have really enjoyed that. And then just all the other stuff that we've experienced here re related to Trek. Um, Ryan Husk has been here and has been a Aren't phenomenal host. Aren't you going to ask me what host. my favorite part of the panel was? No. See, he never does this. He never throws anything back to this, me. This no. actually kind of reminds me of the panel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part of the panel was when uh, DJs asked me a question, went on a three-minute dissertation, oh. <laughs> and then didn't even come back to me. <laughs> was it me? Yes, the panel was recorded, and we are going to share it with you. As a matter of fact, obviously, we do have uh, amazingly granted and exclusive broadcast rights from inside the uh, convention hall, and there are a number of panels that we're going to be able to bring you. Not every single one of them, but we do have several that we are going to look very forward, uh, very much forward to sharing with you guys. One is the 455's films presentation. Yes, they the do all the documentaries. Yes, 30th anniversary Voyager documentary. And by the way, we have... 25th. 30th. 30th? 30th. Yeah, and we old. have exclusive, never before seen footage of we're, the new Voyager documentary. We're going to be sued if we play that. Where's that button? We're be sued. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome Josh. Hey, Josh. As well from hey. Los Angeles. How you doing, man? What have you enjoyed here? How was your flight? Did you I guys come together? Uh, no, we, we, nope. we came separately. You yep. drove. I didn't drive. No, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I, I came out of Ontario, cl closer yeah. to where I live. Mm. Uh, they all came out of... Great airport, Ontario. Yeah. In Surprised and out. me. Nope, no problems. Never yeah. anything. Yeah. And uh, you had a great flight. You came in this morning or yesterday? Yesterday. Awesome. And what have you uh, been checking out while you're here at the panel? Or everything, at the uh, convention? Everything, you know. Everything from the, uh, the what, what do you call them? The theater sections? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, the, the the astrology, astronomy, oh, the astronomy. Oh, that was that a was really, really good solid. One. Yeah. I learned a lot there. Yeah, yeah the, and the the cool thing about these conventions, and I've only been to a few, but now I have been to a few this year, is that it is very science based, and yep. you learn a lot about how the foundation of Star Trek is actually centered on real factual science. It is fact checked, and there are actual scientists yep. behind these stories. And why are you, you looking at me not looking at what? I was muted and communicating off camera, and you just come over to me all looking all weird and doing sign language. Okay, are, are you having a stroke? <laughs> I've been sitting here. I have, didn't even look at you, <laughs> talk to you. I am having a stroke. You. I'm trying to produce a show off the show. <laughs> okay, again, I'm having a conversation just with my right friend there, Josh. Just stay and there. Just stay yeah. right there. I don't know. I, I'm confused now. I, I thought that this was going really well. And then Stop Jay looking at me. Just, just I don't know what happened. Stop looking at me. I don't know what happened over there. I have, Stop looking at me. I, I apologize for the cat. He's not had his medication today. <laughs> but we will certainly work on that. All right. Yeah. Josh, did you buy any souvenirs? Uh, actually, yeah. I bought a, a, a badge. I love a that badge. badge. Yeah. It's how, solid. How much is that? Uh, 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Yeah, cheaper than a pack. Well, cheaper than, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could buy a pack or two and a half com badges. It's pretty good. You could. I don't know. I might. I, I grab Thar's hammer. What a savings is back in the store today if you miss it. And I'm probably going to have to buy that. Would you pay attention to the show that you're on? Maybe that would be a better thing for I you. I am trying to prepare for the next segment because I'm counting on my in, invaluably wise and experienced partner to. DJ where are those pictures? DJ the pictures of our scattered. next guest. The pictures of our next guest. Yes. I have them right here. Super fantastic. Oh, no. Oh, no. Huh? <laughs> I thought. Oh, did you lose? I idea? thought I just spilled coke all over the autograph <laughs> shirt. I thought you did too. <gasps> However, the what? cap was on the bottle. Okay, the cap was hold on. The let's show. Let's show what we've got going on with that so far. So uh, again, we've only got about 19 minutes left, guys. Um, this was an idea of the community. I don't remember whose idea it was. It was brilliant. Um, I just want to to announce to everybody that we will be uh, kicking off our Christmas Angel Fund. Uh, coming up here in just uh, three days. Okay, sure. Uh, three days. That sounds fine. Um, but what we are doing while we're here, and a, a super huge shout out to Candy White, who created this uh, ST Nash t-shirt for us. You guys can actually see it right over, right over my shoulder. Right here is the front of the t-shirt. On the back of the t-shirt, we have listed the entire special guest cast list of this entire convention. Now, let me point out, we're probably, it's not going to be possible for us to get every single one. But what I want to share with you is that uh, a number of cast have actually agreed 
to sign the shirt where they uh, where their name is going to be. So there was Bonnie's here just a second ago. Uh, here down here is Connor Trenier, Dominic Keating. We've had Elias uh, to fix this here, uh, and our next guest, which we are going to uh, introduce to you in just a second and chat with for a moment. But this shirt, we're going to gather all of the signatures that we can, and we're going to treat this shirt very carefully, Griffin. Because it will be one of our grand prize uh, raffle uh, auction. We're doing auction yeah. for this month or this year's Christmas Angel Fund, where we raise money again for uh, the Children's Hospital here in Nashville. Yep, so all of the autographs going onto one singular T-shirt that will be framed and beautifully uh, hung and mounted. And no Coke will be spilt on the shirt. Not, absolutely nothing will touch this shirt. Yep. And it will be auctioned off to the community for the Children's Hospital at Monroe Carroll Jr.'s right here in Nashville, which I think is kind of awesome that we're here and like the children's hospitals like five minutes away and uh, and this is where we're going to kick that off this year so over fifty thousand dollars ra raised for that charity last december and every 53. kid on 13 floors in that hospital received <laughs> gifts from the result of that k92 says so wait i can't just buy it i mean for fifty thousand dollars yes okay i mean for sure i'll, I'll sell it for way to start a bidding work k92 because maybe maybe <laughs> i want the shirt <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would love to uh, introduce you to our next guest. We've got about five or six minutes. Uh, and she actually came over much earlier in the day. The stars have not lined up for us to sit together today. Until now. Until right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you another guest in which we will see if you guys can identify uh, the series the show uh, and uh, the character that she portrays. So before Ooh, I put her on. Without putting her on camera that's this That's right. This time I'm not going to put her on camera yet. Welcome, by the way. How are you? Up, yeah. oh, wrong button. Okay, there we go. Wrong. Yeah, that, that one. Thank you. Hello. Oh, there we go. See, they're all out of order over here. <laughs> so many buttons. Uh, welcome to be sitting with us. Listen, before I, I turn on your camera, can I just get a real quick a little quote, hint. a little hint for our audience as to what show you came from. And uh, we'll see if the audience is going to be able to figure it out. A little audio clue. Mm hmm. Shields at 60%. Ooh. Ooh. And that has a distinct sound to it. It does. Let's it see. It actually, I get goosebumps. I, I for real, I like, actually, I, I real absolutely do. just now, like, I, I feel the vibe of this ship. Um, so let's see. A couple of guesses. Something lower decks. No. Not Arium. Decks. No. Good guess. Disco. No. Not Discovery. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is my distinct honor to introduce ah! Mini Marble. Mini Mini Mabel. Got it right. Mini Mabel. Congratulations to you, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce you to K Bass. Right, Welcome. Hey. How Thank are you. you? Thanks for having me. We were going to open the day with me, but now we're going to close the day. With That's me. right. Listen, <laughs> and you know what? It's going to look like you're bookending the show because there we, we had you this morning and now <laughs> we've got you tonight. Fantastic. That's right, Pluto. She is the voice of the computer of the La Serena. Amazing, amazing talent sitting next to us. And we're Thank so you. thankful. Thank you very much. Yeah, for as a matter of fact, take a look. Here's uh, I'm going to pull this up to the camera right here. Here is uh, the La Serena ship from Star Trek. Picard, you guys are absolutely going to recognize this ship. It's uh, it's probably one of my favorite non-Federation ships. And, and just the way that it became a part of that show. And uh, and it's not just the La Serena that you have uh, that you have done work for here as far as the sci-fi world goes. A lot of our audience are going to recognize a lot of your stuff, right? Uh, what yeah. other stuff have you uh, have you done? Oh, well, let me tell you my favorites. Uh, my my two favorite characters, uh, Anna from Rise of the Tomb Raider. Nice. Uh, Lara Croft, Rise of the Tomb Raider. That was just a, that was among my very first video game roles, uh, which was just super fun. Um, and then most recently, Cyberpunk 2077. Ooh, I did not know you were in yes. that game. Phantom Liberty, President no Rosalind way. Myers. Yeah. I hear it one. now. Yeah. Look right here, right yeah. here. So we've got all kinds of characters. Yeah. Uh, that you have played throughout uh, throughout your career, but we uh, are so excited to to welcome you into thank you. the Star Trek universe because oh, that thank ship you so much. that ship I mean ended up being the Enterprise for the Picard series. Yeah, and I want to say, am I wrong? I could totally be wrong because I get some of the things mixed up. But 
I thought that La Serena was a uh, was a like a federation a, a federation ship, ship well, that was taken out of commission. Is that right? Oh man! Now see, listen, know, she's okay. going to get me. She's trumping the interviewer We're right gonna now. We're going to have to ask the fact the checkers. I think. Fact we checkers. Need some fact checkers. All right, you I in the could audience. Be wrong. But that, <laughs> probably I not. Thought. She's probably I absolutely right about that. I thought took the ship, and it was like you know. I don't know. It could be. Captain Taylor says you ha you had very memorable scenes with Michelle Hurd's character, which is completely true. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're, we're yeah. Looking. Lost in Lost in says she's right. Absolutely. Oh, there yep. you go. Yeah, there you go. So that. wow. We it's lose. Not, we you lose. know what? You, you know win. what? I'm not often right, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take that moment. Take that. <laughs> take that win right there. As yeah. you should. Yeah. And that's Thank a you. that's a nice Thank deep you. cut right there. That's a that's a fantastic deep cut. Yeah, right there. it was an unusual ship for a Federation ship. I have to say. Definitely yeah. had a uh, special attitude. Yeah. Uh, it was very very exciting to to see. And it's it's always exciting to meet people that are not super obvious in the show, like the sure. the supporting, uh, like the voice of the computers, yeah. or or like Elias earlier because he's under the the makeup. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So uh, when yeah. I met you the first time, like when we spoke, it was your voice, you know, and yeah. I and I kind of get that a, a little bit. Some people will say a, a, that to me, like, "Oh, I recognize this. It's not what I thought," but. You know, you don't look like a computer, right? It's <laughs> kind of you. It's, I appreciate that. Very it's kind much. of the thing, but yeah, like your approach or your recognizability comes in yes. in your voice. Yeah. And uh, and when we met earlier, I was just like, oh, I can totally hear. Yeah, I can totally hear it's Picard wild, season it? three. It is. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's How crazy. do you do you modify or train in in a specific way? Like if you're preparing for a ship's computer role, uh, are you doing something specific for that, or is it just like y your voice. Well, it's so interesting. It's kind of a combination of things, Ooh. right? Because Majel Barrett is, you know, sort of the the quintessential. The she's, gold standard. She's the, totally the gold yeah. standard. And so, and I and I think she's the gold standard, not just for the Star Trek universe, but for kind of every computer voice. Um, she's so permeated the culture, right? Yes. So there's always that piece. And then there's the having to remove you know, inflection and feeling from your voice, right? And then there I happen to have a particular tone that sits mm -hmm. in a particular place. And so it's kind of a combination of everything. So, um, and when it all comes together, and I happen to be a really big Star Trek fan, so I was super familiar with the with the ship's computer for TNG and Voyager. And, um, and so when I got this audition, Amazing. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to uh, we're going to pop over here, and uh, we're going to actually zoom out here just for a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop out on the on the zoom so you can, and then uh, Griffin will grab the camera and we'll put it down on the shirt. You guys can watch her sign right here. Actual authentication happening. Uh, that, yeah, this is real video authentication happening right here. Okay. Yeah, it's like it's tricky. We bought the wrong sharpie. Yeah, it's a we've been told gotta... by everybody today that we are absolutely not using the right Sharpie. Literally uh, our first yeah. rodeo. <laughs> we are not using the proper, uh, proper Beck... Sharpie at all. Beck is there staring at us like sh the epic disappointment on Beck's face for us not having yeah. the right material. Yeah, we do, in fact, have the wrong Sharpie. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been uh, my distinct privilege to, to sit here today with a lot of, of the Star Trek cast, and we've got so much more to bring you. Uh, but very special thanks right now to Miss Best. Thank, thank you. you thank you so much for having me. It's a really pleasure. Thank, thank you so thank much. You. Uh, guys, we've got so much more. So we're going to stick here and uh, and hang out just for a couple of more minutes. We've got about eight minutes before they kick us out. They're literally going to turn the lights off. Yeah, Security they are, is looking at us from across the hall. Yeah, they're going to kick us out of here at about eight minutes because we are inside the vendor's room. Now, Griffin, if you were just kind of uh, guessing or or looking at all the amazing merch in here. Yes. Right? I mean, the collectibles, the patches. Um, by the way, you didn't get to see this earlier. Look right over there. That uh, is Hero Within. Hero Within. They've is, got the I'm bomber a, jackets. They have the bomber jackets. I'm certain. Oh, they have. They have, they have all of them. Wesley That's, Crusher's little yes, sweater. Yes. They have Wesley Crusher's gray sweater with the rainbow. Is your um okay well, we're gonna get to that we're yeah. gonna show you some of this merch a little bit later we're gonna go through and get some video uh and show you guys some of the stuff that's here 
But uh, very, very cool. Uh, and, and so for that reason, security is crazy. Uh, there is so much merchandise in here. Some of it is probably very valuable as far as antique stuff. I've seen some really old stuff in here. There are a lot of stuff under glass, plastic. Yeah, some, like some super collectible stuff. Indeed. So uh, we are going to show you some of that stuff a little bit later in the weekend uh, about some of the stuff that's in here. But in the meantime, tonight, for the remaining seven and a half minutes that we've got with you, we're going to stay, stay right here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome over here to our, uh, to our right, the guest of the uh of the the surprise guest of the weekend ladies and gentlemen it is indeed a bet likes plants oh. and war daddy war daddy <laughs> there is war daddy everybody oh p d p p d p yeah no i just don't hello uh good <laughs> evening you uh you fine people how are you welcome in Doing great. Happy How are Friday. You? We're doing well. Did yeah. you uh, did you spend a couple dollars here? Only a few. Just a few dollars. This is not everything. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have to figure out how to transport the transporter home. <laughs> no, that oh, is you, you, a unique question. You insert is. batteries and you push the button. Yeah. Oh, I, there's, I have, there's some more. I have I have Ooh. a bag over here of of items. No. The extra stuff. All right, well, show us some of your goodies here. What did, what did you find? I saw you over uh, at the table. Just You've been geeking out in here today. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it's unique or, or interesting oh, to see because you are a self-admitted. Even on the panel today, we were talking about how you are a relatively new Trek fan. Yeah. Um, but then you are in here, and you're, like, just eyeballing all of the things. Tell me some of the stuff that you saw today that just, like, you yeah. obviously had to have. You kid in a candy store. I absolutely got a, a transporter. Ooh, look uh, at that. Had to, had to absolutely do this. Uh, batteries are not included in this one. So wait, what, I mean. I'm going to tilt down so we can see that yeah. box. There we go. It's yeah. a legitimate transporter. It is a little. Oh, what? Oh, oh, no. what are you what doing? Have you done? Hold on. It's live TV. It's live TV. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh my, my God. Go. Yeah, Golly that's G. good. Uh, there. Um, yeah. So we'll have a transporter here. And then I had to get the engineering <laughs> place. Wow. <laughs> it's taller than her. That's, That's really cool. Beck is small. Yep, yep, yep. It does connect to like some of the other uh, TNG ones, so I have to get the others too. Oh, but, so obviously. Thing you put yeah, you can get a whole. You can get a whole set and put everything together. I need assist. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> that's why. That's why War Daddy <laughs> is here just to show off the merch. Um, for those who don't know, Voyager's my favorite series. Mine too. Yeah. So I had to get. Obviously, I had to get oh. a Voyager. Does it light up? Is it just a model? No, this is a model. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, Very yeah. Nice. I'm a big Very fan. fan. Big fan, big fan. Uh -huh. And then y'all know that I play pool. Yes. Um, and I play in a league. Yes. And so one thing that you have to do uh, is mark your pocket whenever you are shooting for the eight ball. Okay. And everybody always brings all these fun little, like, toys or action figures or whatnot. Oh, so stop I it. figured what did you find? seven of nine, because oh, she's, she's my girl. She's my favorite. Uh, had to get. Had to get her there. Seven of nine marking the eight ball. Yeah, and for, uh, I guess that's... Uh, that's <laughs> 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 brilliant. Uh, okay. I yeah. Mean, yeah, and then I got a seven of nine uh, uh, towel, but I'm not going to open that up. Why? It's in there. Show oh, okay. The towel. Yeah, open the, open the no, towel. No, it's okay. okay we don't fine. want to refold yeah, the towel. Yeah, yeah, you only got a couple minutes. We're about to get kicked out. Yeah, we have four yeah. and a half minutes yeah. left. Uh, you. To your right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you may remember he's the guy you made memes out of uh, when he was so animated on our last guest appearance. Ladies and gentlemen, War Daddy is here. Would you stop? What? I love it. His name it. is not War Daddy. It is War Daddy. He's owned it. Like, it, it's you now, he right? He does not own it. it. He does not like it, and he does not appreciate you continuing what? to perpetuate it. That is not accurate. Don't fight mom and dad. That is... <laughs> that is... All right. Would you introduce yourself, then? Uh, I mean... I, I don't mind. Whatever's good. You know, honestly, as long as uh, I'm uh, memeable, I suppose, then we're all winning here, right? Memeable so. is also non forgettable. So hey, uh, you're immortalized. Iconic, right? Yeah, there we go. Legends never die. Woo yes. <laughs> Nor does your iconic video where you let your hair down and turn full Klingon right in the middle of the arc. Which, which, by the way, leads me into the swag that you've purchased today. All right. Yeah, because I saw you earlier. They've got an entire booth here set up to Klingon jewelry. Which is, I have to imagine, is like, you, that's your candy store. Definitely right around, your right? wheelhouse, yes. I, I mean, I did not intend to buy jewelry today. And then <laughs> I saw this chain, and I was like, you know, 
that looks pretty sick, but I would need like some earrings to go with it. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, hey, here's some earrings that go with it. I'm like, all right. The well, intricacy involved. I mean, you can't yeah, see it. I'm going gonna, gonna to zoom that in on be, this that a little bit. That could be like an $800 necklace. There's yeah. a lot of work in that necklace. I mean, it, they're individual pieces. Handmade, yeah, all yeah. the way through. That is yeah. sick, dude. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. That's, That's right, Raj. He was uh, the owner of the War Room. That's why I call him War Daddy. He does not own the War Room. He, he owns it. He's the War Room guy. The introduced. He's the, the War Room guy. He has nothing to do with now. the War Room now. <laughs> it's his. He, he owns has it. nothing to do with the War Room. <laughs> but uh, he is obviously here, not talking Ooh, about the this? War. Ooh, what is this? This is a communicator that has Bluetooth. So what? You can click it, and I can call people and uh, it receive, works. you know, receive hails and things. That's here. Yes. yes. I want one immediately. Uh, <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> right I, now. I want it. It was one of my like 15 different badges that I picked up. Uh, Whoa, you're packing yeah, heat down so there. Yeah, so you, you, you have the badges. Let's take a look at some of the badges and the patches that you picked up here. Yeah, Dave Stro says, I need that as well. Check wants to know what's your skill level in your league, Beck. Oh, well, look at this. Um, I, I am only a two. I'm a baby. Okay, there you go. See, she knew she knew what that question meant. But I very, did not. very competitive and very good player. <laughs> we, we played some oh, pool. We mine, played some pool. Right here, it, I have to lose the first three, and then I'm fine. Ooh, that is good. Look at the See, state of that combat. See, now I'm gonna have beautiful. to go. I want to go buy a badge, but I I need that immediately. I want to go buy. We some got all weekend. Of a badge. You we know, got they lots bought of all the good ones. They're probably sold out by now. <laughs> Actually, it's that's true. Not and we don't untrue. really have all weekend since they're closing this room in two minutes. Bottle opener, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Stop it Incredible. with you. Incredible. Oh, um, right. So let me ask you, we got our final two minutes here. Logan, uh, it obviously has been absolutely wonderful and great to see you. Uh, and in this capacity, just going around and nerding out, right? Like you and I were kind of walking around the vendor's room earlier looking at some toys, and then I, I walked past you while you were eyeballing that jewelry. Uh, tell me about your experience here so far. We're one day in. What's been the highlight for you so far? Uh, I mean, you know, for me, definitely the highlight is the uh, the talking Trek panel. I mean, oh, uh, they yeah. absolutely knocked out of the park. Right. I can't lie. You know, learning about uh, the fantastic community here. Um, but but secondarily, in a close, you're a part close of that second, community, um, by the way. You're not learning about it. You're a big part of it. Thank oh, you. Well, you know, I'm uh, I'm trying to give the uh, the lovely community their props, okay. even if I uh, I pop in from time to time. Yeah. I'll be uh, sneaking in the discords. Second, probably though, is uh, uh, you guys actually just had uh, Kay on the uh, on the show here. Oh, that's right. <laughs> DJ, do you know about this? Wait, what? Do you know what Logan has? No. From yes, you do. I showed you uh, right before actually <gasps> voicemail. Oh uh, my god! On my phone. Uh, I had her do, so I have a, a computer voice. Can we hear it? Uh, yeah, cause I don't know how well it'll translate. It'll come great. Right. It'll right it'll there. come through. Yeah. So she is selling. Uh, like at her at her booth, she's actually selling customized uh, voice messages as the computer from La Serena. I, the, That's why right, I my did, money. Take oh all my money. Oh my god! I didn't even realize this when you when right, you did so this. Video. All right, so here we go. Here's the video. No subspace frequency is available for your hail. To leave a message, please enter command codes. Oh my god! Is that sick? <laughs> that is <laughs> <stupid>. amazing. Awesome. <laughs> uh, so I want to do that. As a matter of fact, I actually saw. Uh, over uh, when I was getting my Doug hug today, Doug Jones is also doing. You slipped uh, over and got a Doug hug I without me. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, got a Doug hug. Well. Actually, um, Doug came up and and just said hi. Oh, your close personal friends. He recognized you. Oh, it's the cat <laughs> from the ship. Let me give a hug. That's he was so nice with his hugs. Okay. Uh, but he is also doing uh, voicemail messages as Captain Saru as Ooh. well. So uh, we there gotta, is we something for everybody. Up. We got to hook all this up. Yeah, I'll go in. Something 50. for everybody here. You buy half, I buy half, and then we just boom. <laughs> all right, guys. Or we'll guys. buy them all. Listen, we have had a great time with you for the last hour. We have so much more content to put together for you. It is time. I see them coming through to pull the plug. So we are done with day one. But don't you worry. We've got so much more content that uh, we are working with. Uh, everybody, real quick, out in the audience, thank you guys so much for coming. They're not waving because they like you. They're waving because they're like coming Yeah, I know. Us. They're telling us we got to go. That's what I'm doing. I'm wrapping up Where's right now. Where's the button for the theme song? The, the, the button is right there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it. We've got to go. We are going to be back with you tomorrow with so much more. And 
We have a ton of other content, panels, communication, short videos, everything that we are going to be putting up They're for you guys uh, coming up in the next couple of days. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for us tonight from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. My name is Ultimate DJ. I'm Griffin. And this is the Talking Trick Podcast. We're going to check up with you guys a little bit later. Thank you guys so very much for being here. You guys have a wonderful night. We'll catch you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Well, for now. And that button.